Hi guys, as you already know, it's a new day and a new perspective. My name is Samuel Lainus. I'm a full stack developer here at NDI. And I'm AK Igwe, a front end developer at NDI. All right, I'll be building an amazing project, right? It's called um, the Jimmy clone. Exactly, exactly. We're trying to clone Jimmy, and we're going to be doing that with React. Yeah, so this particular project is for the Nedia Alliance community. So if you're watching us for the first time, ensure you subscribe. Yeah, the link to Nedia Alliance community will be in the description. You need to join that community. It's a community where we have a group of individuals who want to develop their skill, their programming skill, and move to a higher level, wherever they are now. So you see the link there. Join the Telegram group. It's important. Yeah, don't just subscribe. Also, turn on the notification bell so that you'll be among the first folks that will see notification of post the subsequent videos. So without wasting much of our time, let's get started. So we'll dive in straight to dissect this particular Gmail clone that we are working on. Now, before you actually create a particular application or website, the first you want to first of all take a look at it, right? To see some of the hidden elements and the obvious elements as well, and our approach towards actually cloning the Gmail applications, right? So let's dive in straight to it. All right, guys, basically this is it. I'm right here in the Gmail application that we're trying to clone. So I just log on to this particular Gmail application of ours. So the first thing I want to do now is just take a look at this application. So the first thing I want to do is take a screenshot of this. I took a screenshot of this and I went straight into Adobe XD to actually take a look at this particular stuff and see how we can achieve it one after the other right so let's break it down into visible elements and non-visible elements of this different application so i'm just going to be using a rectangular box here actually which definitely when i draw it i'm going to give it red but the first thing we want to see if we want to divide this by section what's the first thing, navigation area let me take out the field and just make it this red and probably make it like a little bit thicker like five okay i think five is great then so that's it so the first thing you want to see here is the navigation area, right? So this navigation area now is one of the one of the sections that we have here that you want to design first. Now the second section that we have here also is also the sidebar. So this sidebar area as well. It's another one. Let's make this red as well. I think I give it five. All right. So the sidebar area is another one. So apart from the sidebar as well, what other areas do we have? Here yeah, we also have this little sidebar here as well. We also have um, this little sidebar here as well. So I'm going to draw this. There's another little sidebar here. I'll give it red and then give it five. So we have another little sidebar here. Then of course we have these other areas here too as well. We have this area. So this is just for us to understand the several elements that Gmail application have, right? So we have this. So we have another area too as well here, which is the tab navigation or what I want to call uh, um, um, tab navigation for the major content area. So I'll give this red as well, make here five. All right. Now, apart from that, so as well, we we'll also have the major content area. Of course, it's 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 quite obvious now, right? So we have the major content area. That is this this one. Yep. So we have this right. So I've actually divided this particular Gmail application into different um, 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 frames, right? Let me just first of all reduce this. I think this is the second term. Let me reduce it down here so I won't get to see it. All right, now, now if you want to tackle the top navigation on its own, you realize that you have like it's divided into like three um, several options, right? So let me duplicate it. So if I duplicate this, we realize that this one on its own, this on its own, ended somewhere around here, and this other one too. Have another area probably that ends here or of some sort, right? Almost like three angles, right? And of course, it's divided into the fourth one. So this middle one, let's give it, let's give it a separate color. Let's not give it red. Let's give it um, let's say blue. So let's give this guy a, blue, a bluish color. And give this guy a bluish color too as well. Alright. 
So now the these middle ones, so they have like bluish color, right? Let me make them a little bit thin so that you will be able to see them more. Right? So basically that's it. So you want to see that the inner ones, that is this inner blue that we have here, we will take them a little bit further inside so it will be obvious of what we just drew. You realize that you realize that there is a section here and for this other one too there is another section here as well there is another section here as well so this explains the concept right when we start to actually design this stuff before we start writing our html and css we take a look at this stuff we understood the concept right so now first and foremost if once you start writing your code you want to divide your your frame, you want to divide the same it is flex you're using if you're using CSS grid. The first thing you want to do is to take a look at this stuff and divide it right. And let's go back to the Gmail application itself on the browser. And if you come back, if we come back to the browser, realize that there are several other features right here, right? For example, now this one here, in this particular area in the navigation bar, top navigation bar, controls this entire stuff in the navbar, right? And on just on hover effect, it also brings it out as well. Right, you see that, right? So this navigation controls everything down here, and on over effects, it brings everything out. So that being said, um, and this other one here, this navigation here as well controls a little sidebar here. That is this area, this other third area that we like to add as well. So now, if we want to actually design this stuff, we will start from this navigation as number one, then we'll go to the sidebar number two, number three, then this other uh, um, search area, these other areas, right? Then this major content areas basically, right? So now instead of even dividing this content area into two, this particular area, the first one, this major area could be one, then we have one, two, and three. Right? So what I'm trying to say is now this one is the whole navigation is one. We have two sidebar, then the, the major content area, right? Which one will swipe? Then there are other special features you see on Gmail. For example, this more allow us to see more or see less. Then here we can actually drag it to increase this particular element, right? Which is also an amazing feature. So another amazing feature again that we have here is all of this stuff have drop down menus, right? Settings have drop down menus, question uh, uh, have drop down menu as well. And when you click on any of these extra features, right, it has its own extra um, sidebar that it actually loads, right? Which is super, super, super amazing as well. So Gmail, as simple as it is, there's a lot of features right here right and i can't wait for us to get started and we'll start writing some piece of code to get our hand dirty as um uh, and we do this particular um include this particular gmail application right so sit back relax and get your hand ready to code that is it guys about dissecting this particular project so in the next video we'll be setting up our project and as well start to code now in the next video my colleague will be handling that if you're just watching us for the first time do well to subscribe to the youtube channel if you haven't turn on the notification bell so that when we post the subsequent videos you'll be one of the first folks to actually receive notifications and watch that particular video show support show us some love share this particular video as well around your circle right and again don't forget that this particular project is for the nerdy alliance developers community right the community is on telegram if you haven't joined the community the aim of the community is to take developers like yourself from intermediate level to mastery level we will leave a link in the description where you can click and join this amazing community on telegram personally i can't wait to actually communicate with you